Welcome to Tech Life on this video where we will install and run the Starlink internet system on an EcoFlow River Mini Wireless. The power consumption I have observed lies between 30 watts and 60 watts. And with the 210 watt hours, this means that the, the power bank can uh, power the Starlink system for a number of hours. Depending on your ability to recharge the device, the feasibility of running the Starlink system on the smallest power bank from EcoFlow can be discussed. I think if you have access to a car or a solar panel and don't need internet connectivity all day round, it's totally possible to do this. setup I had some issues uh, with uh, establishing connectivity with the satellites and I had to turn to Reddit to find some troubleshooting information in the forum. It turns out that uh, the connector from the router to the antenna was not properly seated and when I removed it and uh, put it in again this uh, was corrected. big benefit of the Echo River Mini is the portability. It weighs less than 3 kilograms. All in all installing the Starlink system and powering it with the EchoFlow unit was a pleasant one and I recommend both products. I have planned making more movies uh, using both Starlink and EchoFlow. At my disposal I have a Delta Pro as well as a River Pro. So I will make comparisons in between these in future videos. But that's all for now and thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you want more content. Have a great day. Thank you.